Welcome to Electron Online. In this series, we're going to talk about limits and how to apply to derivatives. And in calculus, there's a big relationship between limits and the understanding of limits and the understanding of derivatives. So what we're going to do first here in this video is introduce you to the concept of the tangent line and the secant line. And I'm hoping if you're taking calculus right now that these are probably old concepts that you're very familiar with. But just in case, just for the memory, let's say that a tangent line is a line that runs along a function like this here. The black line represents a function, let's say it's f of x. The tangent line is such a line such that it touches the function at just one point only. So there's only one point in common between the tangent line and the actual function right here. A secant line is a line that runs along the function and will touch it in two places, once here and once there. So here you can see that both the secant line and the tangent line touch a function at this one location, but the secant line touches it also at another location. In other words, the secant line cuts across a function, of course that is in a graphical sense, so to speak, so that it touches the function in two places. A tangent line only touches it at one single point right here, and none of the other points on the tangent line are at the same location as the function itself. So the difference between a tangent and, func and tangent and secant line is a tangent only touches the function once and the secant line touches the function twice. What we're going to see later on is we're going to see what happens when you bring the second point closer and closer and closer to the first point. Then you can see that the slope of the secant line will much more align with the slope of the tangent line. And eventually you'll see that if we bring these points really close together, that the slopes of both lines will be very, very close to one another. And that's the concept that at least will lead us to the concept of a derivative. So, if you understand what we mean by the tangent line, the secant line, you want to trip up when you later on, we'll talk about it in more general terms. So, that's our start on looking at limitives and derivatives.